Hi, today I'm going to play a Marshall 1987X, you know, the 50 watt plexi ratio, using a number of different power tube BIA settings, all the way from very cold to very hot BIAs. And the BIAs is basically how hard you run the power tubes, so that they're, they're neither cut off nor fully saturated. To do this, I'm going to use this gadget, the uh, tube amp Dr. BIAs Master. You take the power tubes, connect it to this socket, which is connected to the meter, and then you plug that into the amp. Then you can measure the uh, current that runs through the tube when the amp is switched on, and standby switch on also. But the, you don't play, so it's basically like the, uh, like the, the co comparable to the putting the car in neutral. And if you look at the uh, tube amp doctor's manual, the, uh, the range for that current is between 25 and 42 milliamps. Uh, then the amp is properly biased, basically. To set up and adjust the bias of the amp, you uh, have to take the uh, chassis out of the cabinet to be able to reach the uh, uh, circuit board where the uh, bias potentiometer is located. It's the noted VR1 here in the picture. Uh, now you need to switch off the amp and pull out the mains cord to do this. But even then, there are lethal charges inside the amp that can kill you. So if you don't have the formal training to do this, you shouldn't even take the uh, chassis out of the cabinet. You should take it to a tech instead. Uh, but uh, assuming that you have that knowledge, then you can uh, use an insulated screwdriver. Uh, put one hand in your pocket uh, and uh, adjust the BS at the VR1 potentiometer. Um, so here I'm going to set it up to the extreme values basically of the uh, uh, standard range. I think I had uh, 41 uh, milliamps which is the hot BS. Uh, I think I used uh, 25 or 26 which is the cold end of the interval. I think I set it up 33 also which is in the middle of the interval. And I think I also used, I, try, I, I set up the uh, potentiometer to the uh, hard stop at the low end, which I think was basically 17.6 milliamps. Uh, and we're going to listen to those now. And as usual, I do the test and you draw the conclusions. So, let's go. <laughs> 